during a time of downturn in economy that is often caused by the fact that we are facing a global pandemic and epidemic is that jobs are available to people but jobs that pay a person enough of a wage to live in a way that doesn't get them harassed harangued and pissed on by police is difficult today so when I use all my skill sets and every day I say well this is what I do for a living or that's what I do for a living it's because I'm constantly exploring different avenues to participate in life again to recreate a career again but to openly get employed again and the liars of America don't understand that a small business executive who's been participating in the consulting of other small business people for years can see risk management problems can see customer service issues can really report that to your HR director but she'll fuck it up every time because she's never participated I doubt at the hourly wage level in one of your companies that's the biggest mistake that retail companies make it's not that you should be growing up people out of your hourly wages is that your HR directors brought in should have to spend a day or two with executives doing exactly what you do training your employees let your president go into a company and pretend to be an employee let him walk around that store and see what's really happening now maybe that's a part of his life today or maybe he just sits on his ass someplace in Florida and enjoys himself every day but he has the right to do that but when your hourly employees act like they are the CEO of your company and play in out of the shadows harming people that they just don't feel like having in their store today it's a problem it's called discrimination and here's a law that everybody forgets that everybody in America has the right to purchase food without discrimination so local police are trying to piss all over someone who's homeless who's trying to get out of the rain because he's sitting there waiting for the rain to stop so he can go off on his business day and do what he does to make a living and local employees are being solicited by police officers to participate in that to collect data like a secretary for the police department I'm sorry who plays their salary who pays the employees salaries at the Dollar Tree is it a local policeman who's married to one of those employees or is it a local policeman who's paying those employees with his time and lies to piss all over someone who's indigent you see they have their friends that they that sit down on the sidewalk and panhandle because they have the same type of color relationship in their families and in their homes but nobody said those people didn't have the right to call police but the phone in the hands of an indigent person who's on drugs alcohol and other codependencies is a problem the, the phone in the hand of a local man who's an alcoholic who works for your company is a dangerous man to your CEO and your corporation today